Hello friends, so today we can discuss this question from weekly contest 186. Problem number 1422 maximum score after splitting a string. You are given a string S of zeros and ones. Return the maximum score after splitting the string into two non-empty substrings, left and right. The score after splitting a string is the number of zeros in the left substring plus the number of ones in the right substring. Okay. So let me take this with example. So this is a string and you have to find out how many zeros are on the left side and how many right side, how many ones are there. Okay. And it is also given that these are non-empty. It means there should be at least one element there, non-empty substring. So you cannot cut the string at this part that this is zero and just all the parts are here. Okay. So we can cut it here. We can cut it here, we can cut it here, we can cut it here. Okay. So if we move our i from here, from i equal to 1, we can do two loops from i minus 1 to the end and from i till the end because we are cutting from here. So we have two positions i minus 1 and from i. So we have to do a loop from i equal to 1 to i equal less than n because when we came at this point we have two uh, sections uh, okay so when we when our i came at this point we have two uh, substrings one start at i minus 1 and other start at i also so that's a simple logic and because the constraints are very small we can just brutally uh, count how many ones are there on the left side zeros on the left side and ones on the right side okay so let's write the code n is equal to s dot size and we have to store the maximum so let's initialize it to zero and as I've told you, we have to do from i equal to 1 to less than equal to n, i plus plus. So we want to count the number of zeros, next slide it with 0. We have to count 1, next slide it with 0. Then we to for loop j equal to i minus 1, j is greater than e equal to 0, j minus minus, and if s of i is equal to 0 because now we are iterating on the left side if it's 0 then 0 plus plus okay now we are iterating for the right side int j is equal to i j is less than n j plus plus if s of i is equal to 1 1 plus plus okay so now we have to find the maximum which is if 1 plus 0 is greater than maxi then maxi is equal to 1 plus 0 and after that we have to return max and start to submit it so it's giving the wrong answer let's understand what we have done wrong okay okay this is j because we're reading over j not i sorry it's accepted i hope you understand it's a very simple question thank you for watching this video i'll put the rest of the problem solutions later on uh, so keep tuned and thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one bye